We turn to Paw Animal Shelter in southeastern Iowa. They are asking for your help. PAW stands for Protectors of Animal Welfare, and it's one of the largest no-kill organizations in Iowa. And it's also based in Fort Madison, but serves a three-state, six-county region. But now they're outgrowing their current facility. PAW Animal Shelter operates exclusively on donations and grants. They don't receive any state, county, or city funding. And that is where you can come in. The shelter is one and a half million dollars away from reaching its six and a half million dollar goal. And recently it received a three quarters of a million dollar match grant. Joining us now to chat about this is Sandy Brown, PAW Shelter Director. Sandy, thank you so much for being here with us today. Well, thank you. Why don't we We're start? We're excited. I'm excited too. Why don't we start with your animals? How many are currently under your care at PAW? Too many. Uh, too many, about 230 dogs and 100 cats. Wow. I mean, what's the current status like? Is it, is it overcrowded right now? It's always overcrowded. And truthfully, every shelter and rescue in the nation right now is overcrowded. Hmm. So Everybody. That's, so that's where the idea for moving probably comes from. So talk to me about the new facility that you want. What's it going to look like? How much bigger is it? Going to be amazing. It's amazing. So the building we have right now is 1,800 square feet. The new building is 28,000 square feet. So if, if you're like most women, that doesn't mean anything to me. So the old shelter has 15 doors. The new shelter has 115 doors. Wow. So it will be larger, not just for the animals, but it will be a better quality of life for the animals and it will be much more user friendly for people who are coming to adopt. And Sandy, you're actually standing in the new shelter right now. You said it's just down the street from the current space. What's it yes, like? Are you guys, just, is it being built right now? It is being built and they're promising us we'll be in by August 1st or the 1st of August. So four more months, four more months, four more months. Wow. So it's how amazing. will that new space allow you guys to better serve the community? Obviously you can help more animals out, but really what does that mean? How, how does this better your community? Well, the, in the old shelter, there's absolutely no place for anyone to meet an animal that they're interested in adopting. If it's the night, the weather is nice, you do it out in the driveway. If the weather is nasty, you do it in the front reception. In this shelter, we will have meet and greet rooms where you can come in, sit in a room. We can bring the animal that you're interested in adopting, and you can quietly spend time with your animal that you are wishing to adopt. If you come in now, you're going to be in the middle of chaos, in the phone ringing, dogs barking, staff running back and forth. So the new shelter will make it such a much more rewarding experience for both, not just the dog, but for the people that are interested in adopting the dog or cat as well. Hmm. And I got to ask you, how close are you to reaching the full 750,000 to get that match grant? We're doing well. We've got a long way to go. $750,000 is a lot of money, but praise God, this anonymous donor believes in what we do. Um, the other day I was in, in a store and a little guy came up and hand, asked me if I was the dog lady and handed me a dollar. Now that dollar is now $2. So there's no such thing as too small of a donation. And um, so every little bit counts. Every dime is matched until we reach that $750,000. And it's a testament to all the work that you've already put in. I mean, we're talking about $750,000, but really this whole project is six and a half million. So it's been a long time coming for you guys. It has. It's been, it's been a five year since we bought the property. It's been a five year dream and we could not do this without the grace of God and so, so many people who believe in what we do here. Um, we have an amazing community and communities that, um, believe in us and believe in our mission and what we do. And yeah, God is good. Well, Sandy, I just can't thank you enough for your time today. And we wish you, wish you best of luck with the rest of this fundraiser. We'll get you over that goal. Thank you. We'll invite you down when we open up. I love to hear that. If you guys at home, you want to help out, we have a link on how to donate up on our website right now underneath the As Seen on TV tab.